So me and Davey recently went to Canada and it was amazing, but I wanted to be able to wear a soft glam look every day because that's when I feel at my best, but I also didn't want to waste too much time getting ready or needing to get up early just to do that. So my plan was to wear the same makeup style every day for a month. And this just helped to speed up my application because I was constantly doing the same look over and over again. And this meant that I didn't have to even think about it. I could chat to Davey about our plans for the day and almost go on autopilot and for someone with brain fog chronic fatigue joint pain this is so helpful i also pretty much did my hair the same way either to the front or to the side and i wanted to share with you this look and all the tips and tricks that i learned along the way for a smooth hassle-free application so let's get started Oh, before we get started, if you are new here to the Makeup Chair channel and you enjoy tutorials like this, then I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. And if you are already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started. So I always like to start off with a good skin base of moisturizer and primer. Unfortunately, I forgot my skin base, but luckily I did have a moisturizer in my carry-on, all thanks to the advice from James from the Welsh Twins channel. Here is a clip from their live. Makeup chair, hi. hi. Love you both. I only have a question for James. I'm going on a nine hour flight. Been forever since I've been on a plane. How do I stop my skin drying out, especially my lips? Yeah. Slugging. Slugging is the thing to do. Not on the plane, before you get on the plane. What is it with aeroplane mouth? It's the circulation of air, right? It's, it's hard. Really dry. Yeah, you like it? Because it comes out of one person's mouth, then goes back into <laughs> your mouth. I love these two so much. And I'm so thankful that I did have this in my carry on. So thank you, James. And yes, I do 100% find girl every time they say hi to me. And I immediately call Davy because I get so excited because I love them so much. Moving on, I have my moisturized base and the first time saving tip that I have for you is to get yourself a palette and to lay everything that you plan on using for your first few steps. Now this will do a few things. One, you won't forget a step because it's right in front of you. Two, you won't have to keep reaching for your products in and out of your bag, which saves time. And three, you will work a little quickly because you don't want your products drying out. So here I have my Peach Brightener Concealer, which is kind of like a corrector. A concealer about half a shade lighter, a concealer that matches my skin tone, and then my eyelid primer. I'm gonna start with the eyeshadow primer and this is gonna do one of two things. It's going to create a blank canvas for us to work on because it's slightly tinted and this will then camouflage any natural discoloration that we might have in our lids that everybody has. The other thing that it does, it's going to give our eyeshadow something to hold onto so that it lasts longer. The skin on the lids is actually very thin and so it doesn't have the same gripping power that the rest of the skin might have. Now, the older I get, the drier my lids are getting. So I do use a damp sponge sometimes just to press over the primer. This kind of shears it off and it takes some of that weight away. Because if you notice that as you're applying your eye makeup, your eyes are looking a little heavier, sagging a little bit more. It could just be that your eyeshadow primer or the products that you're using are kind of weighing down your lids. Now, if you want a more detailed video on that, definitely let me know. It's for the more mature skin. Another time saving tip that I have is to use a double ended brush so I can apply a sheer layer of the primer on my lid, but then the other side is kind of a fatter, thicker type of brush, which is great for pressing in the product as your finishing step. This is great if you have very sticky eyelids after you apply your primer and your blending isn't great because you do want a smooth base to help with your smooth blend. Now, if you don't want to do this, you can also apply just a sheer layer of a matching eyeshadow as a base before you continue with your blending. And what we're doing today is a basic smoky eye, but then I'm gonna show you how to kind of jazz it up at the end. But let's start off with the basic look. You're gonna take a flat brush and a deep dark shade. I'm gonna use a deep brown, and you're gonna press this right at the lash line. We're using kind of a wedge shape, so it's gonna be slightly higher to lower on the inner corner. Now I'm using a deep brown, you can use black, however, I just wanted that more warmer tones. Now I don't want you to blend this, I want you just to leave that shape there, and then we're going to apply our lighter brown above that following the same shape. So it's gonna go from dark to light. So when my eyes are open, you'll be able to see the darkness right at the lash line, but when my eyes close, you can actually see how it goes from dark to light working upwards. So now to blend the two of them together, we're switching to a fluffy brush. And what you want to do is just want to sweep over and back to blend and blur these two shadows together. Now I'm holding the brush right in the middle of the handle. This is gonna give us a little less pressure, a little bit more movement, and we're going to glide and blend from dark to light together. Then I'm gonna take a matte medium tone. You can just grab your favorite bronzer even, and you're just going to apply this into the crease of the eye. 
sweeping over and back, starting on the outer edge and blending all the way towards the nose. So I'm creating more of a round shape with a slight lift on the outer edge. So once we have our three shadows on there, we're then gonna take it to the next level. I'm gonna take a cream to powder eyeshadow in a deep brown on a pencil brush. Now the reason I'm using a pencil brush is because I want a sheer application. If I wanted a deeper look, I would use a flat brush and press this onto the lid. However, I want a sheerer look, so I'm using a pencil brush. Think of a pencil brush like a flat brush and a fluffy brush. If they had a baby, then you would get a pencil brush. And you might say, Sinead, why aren't we just using this from the beginning? And you can, this is called five second eyes for a reason because you just apply it and blend and you're good to go. However, I like to have the different depth underneath of the deep dark brown, the medium, and then sort of that bronzy tone just shaping the eyes a little bit more. And that just gives it more of a polished finished look. And you can also stop before this step if you want a very soft smoky eye. It's totally up to you. To finish the eyes, I'm going to apply mascara and some falsies. Now I was going to get eyelash extensions before I went, however, I was really sick in the lead up to our trip, so I didn't get them done. But luckily this product is so amazing for getting your eyelashes on. It just makes it so easy. It's a mascara glue for those of us who like to apply lashes underneath, which I've been doing for years. And honestly, it takes half the time than the regular application. So I was really lucky that I had this. I love this. It's awesome. If you want a video on it, definitely let me know because I am obsessed with this application. Moving back onto the face, I'm going to correct under my eyes using that peach concealer. Conceal around my brows because I've said before, foundation doesn't hold to the skin around my brows for some reason, so I need the drier texture of a concealer to give me a little bit more hold. And I also concealed and brightened any other areas on my face that I needed to, but I didn't overblend because I like to do that with my foundation. Now this has to be my new favorite foundation. This is like a serum, BB cream, foundation all in one. It never dries out. It's so soft and easy to blend and it applies really quickly. So I love it so much. Once I applied that, I then went in and fixed up my brows. Now I didn't do too much to my brows while I was away because I tinted them before I left. And this made a huge difference and was such a time saver. Tinting your brows means that you really only need to use brow gel and you're good to go. And I tint mine probably about once every six weeks. Setting spray is next. And this is gonna hold the brows and shape a little bit more while also setting the foundation. Because this foundation is so glowy and doesn't dry, it can grab hold of powder and make it look a little bit patchy. So a setting spray basically creates a full veil of the same setting power all over. It also doesn't dry out the skin, which keeps that kind of lightweight, airy kind of feel and just keeps that nice glow for my dry skin in particular. Cream blush next. Now you can use powder because we've already set everything with the setting spray, but I'm gonna use cream blushes and I rarely ever use them, but I love them. So if you have any recommendations, definitely let me know because it's a new one for me to like. I also use this sculpting powder just to add some sculptingness to my face. I love this so much. It feels like a cream, but it's a powder. But it, so it's not a cream to powder, it's, it's an actual powder, but it's so buttery in its texture. I just love this so much. And then to finish, I lined my lips, applied some lipstick, and then set everything using a liquid lipstick just to seal it in place. And then there you go. A quick and simple day, night, all occasion, great on camera, great in real life, hassle-free look. I absolutely love this look. And because I loved it so much, I asked if I could apply this look on my sister because I wanted to see what it would look like on someone with different features, different eye color, skin texture. I love this look so much, but it was really interesting to see how she would kind of change it up. So if you want me to post that, definitely let me know. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others. I've been having quite a difficult time of it lately with my illness, but we're hanging in there and we're just gonna keep going. So I'm sending you guys lots of love and support and an extra spoon if you need it. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, then maybe put a, what's a nice emoji? Uh, let's, do, um, let's do an airplane. Comment an airplane if you made it this far. Bye.